have Temzin walking away. And you have Safine, Sacred Flame Finger, pointing at... We got a Mexican stick. No, 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 it's this way. <laughs> <laughs> pointing no, at you. And then you've got Remember, who is now starting to advance. She forward. just stands up and she's like, you were right, and you shouldn't have done that. Don't you fucking do anything while his back is turned. Temzin. He doesn't respond. He just keeps walking. Where is he walking? Wherever he wants to. No, like... Is he walking, like, off into the trees or, like... Yeah, he's walking off away. I take my lock and lock my pack. Mm -hmm. And then I walk over to his and just pour everything out. (laughs) The cats that shit on each other's things. (laughs) What's in it? What would be in Temzin's pack? You want to know where Temzin's pack is. When I said I wanted flavor text, I was like, we should go fishing. That would be fun. <laughs> Talk about our lives. As, as friends. Tim's stuff is off, off the way. That's where he's at. He's like Boy oh, Scout, like hide it in the trees. His stuff with yeah, that's where his, him and his dog, he keeps all of his stuff with him. I mean, he's a vagrant, yeah. so. Why that's very convenient. Vagrant? Why would he bring it with also and leave logical. it alone? He's an orphan child. So Temzin goes so off into the trees and Fitzum quickly pads off after him. Sweet Aww. boy. Good doggo. How far does Temzin go? Oh. Just the way he's in the dark. We're about to get kicked out of the room, y'all. I holster my weapon and walk back to the to remember. Mm-hmm. And I'm standing next to her just so you know. <laughs> What where is she from? <laughs> Again, what's that land called? The Southern? Brilead. And I go, as someone for Brilead, you tolerate someone who just rifles through other's things? No, That's no issue tolerate. for you? I wouldn't tolerate it. You're supposed to fight him and either kick his ass or get your mm, ass kicked. But you said he's done this before and you just let him stay? Yeah, I kicked his ass. And then you told me not to. You could kick his ass, you're just not allowed to do it while he's not looking at you. <laughs> so being was- just like... <laughs> gestures to remember. If someone wrongs you, you have the right to take out of their blood what they have done against you. But you have to do it the right way. That seems a little arbitrary, but alright. Um, Listen, your country makes slaves out of people, so let's not have this conversation. I don't have a country. You're also surrounded by betrayers, so I don't really know what you're expecting. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I go flying after Thameson. Oh my god! Jared, I want to go fishing! Dude, let go. So, Tamsin, you walked off into the darkness. So how how an hour. far did you go? We've been getting kicked out the day. Um, probably far enough to where I could still see the campfire light. Um, <laughs> but I'm in the darkness covering trees and... This is so freaking soft. Go ahead and roll perception check. Twenty-two. You you sense someone before you hear them. It's Rena. <laughs> you sense someone before you hear them. Oh, she's back. And Fitzum kind of looks up at you as your like your stance changes a little bit. Like you're already on the offense. Is it damn? And you hear a creak in a tree above you, and when you look up, Oak is sitting on a branch. Oh. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of look down at you, and their tail is swaying, and they look back at the camera. So, um, what, what was all that about? Uh, you know, just trying to get to, uh, know who's in our camp. <laughs> <laughs> when do all, I catch up? All friendly-like. Shh, this is the only what fucking time he's ever talked in character, as a character. <laughs> We've gotta learn something. Don't interrupt this. Um, you... Tamsin, you see... Um... You see... It's Claudius, right? You see Claudius start flying towards you, and then you see Oak kind of lean, and the trees in the darkness very subtly move to redirect Claudius. And what Claudius sees is flying after the same path that Temzin went. 
Claudius doesn't realize that he is now circling the campsite. Because the tree line... Because the tree line has very subtly changed. And it was so subtle and so soft that Claudius couldn't hear the change. But as far as you know, you're flying after Temzin, and you're starting to wonder, man, he must have gone, like, a ways. Do I loop back around to the camp? Eventually? He just has you flying in a circle. Great. And Oak is... And so Oak just kind of looks down and... Maybe don't try and, I don't know, annoy someone with a fucking gun. That, that seems like it would be not great. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the risk go? I mean, what fate, what fates will have? That was a nifty trick, by the way. And they, like, they kind of, like, very quietly <laughs> jump down from the branch, and they're like, are you telling me that fate told you to stick your hands in his bag? Is that what you're telling me right now? No. So, is like fate an arbitrary thing? Or is that like... I would think someone with, um... <laughs> As guess, yes. Your, well, you said you haven't spoken with the gods in a while, but I would think someone of your abilities would know Fate. Oh, I know of fate. Like, that's definitely a tangible. It's a force. What I'm wondering is, like, you seem to make your own decisions pretty well. Yes. So how many of those are your decisions? And because now, because you say fate is doing it, and then, like, they're now changing. Like, you can see the trees changing so that Claudius is no longer just flying in a circle. They're kind of, like, flying in little, like, different formations. And yeah, eventually it does lead you back and you fly back into camp. And so you guys just saw Claudius fly off and then fly in, like, the opposite edge of camp. It looks like I just circled the globe. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And, Tiny earth and so Oak is just, like, standing there and they're like, so why do you do it? Is fate, like, everything. I'm just trying to figure out how I don't get many of the order coming through. They're kind of like, they kind of just sort of sit in one place. Um. Fate doesn't tell everybody what to do all the time. So we do things, but ultimately fate has final say, and so what happens, happens, and that's according to fate's will. Or because you rifle through someone's stuff and they shot you. Like, that kind of... It seems like the two go hand in hand. And if I were to have gotten shot, then that would have been fine according to fate. So... Oh, is that like a way of, like, deflecting blame? <laughs> No. Therapy. Therapy. <laughs> if I get shot, it's because I get shot. Because so <laughs> you going through his stuff had nothing to do with it. I don't see what you mean. I'm just I'm curious. You went through his thing. Yes. Yes. Sorry, we've established that. You chose to go through his things. Yes. Great. But if he were to shoot you for going through his things, it would not be because he went through his things. It would be because he it chose to shoot me. Right. But not because you went through his things, because fate said so. If I died, then no, fate would I didn't, have No, it. I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Talking to a Jehovah's Witness. He <laughs> so when we find out the Tens is the fucking Calvinist. If he shot you because you went through his things, would that be fate or would that be a consequence? Both. No. <laughs> yes. It's an either or. It's an no, either it's, or. It's a both. It's really not. This goes on for eight it hours. <laughs> Explain the how. Doctrinal because if I get you shot, this. whatever yeah. happens this after that, the effects, those are tied together by fate. I wasn't asking about after that, though. I was saying, if you were to get shot, 
because you went through his things, <laughs> is that a consequence? Yes or no? It's an effect. <laughs> cause so, and effect. So it's consequence. Got it. <laughs> but that does not mean it's not orchestrated by fate. Wait, is a Calvinist. So none of <laughs> so everything you do is fate. I am not fate, so no. No, no. Oh my god. Everything you do is because of fate. Everything. Is that what I... I'm just trying to understand. I get where, like, Safine is just angry, so she acts with anger. <laughs> and then Angerod is just... She's just trying to keep it all together. She's doing her best. <laughs> and I'm just trying to figure you out. Like, are you doing this because... Fate says this is what's happening, and you're just kind of along for the ride, or did you make a choice to do this? Do what exactly? Are you referring to going through somebody's stuff or no, follow I fate? Just, no, no. I mean all of it. The going to Watervale, listening to the gods. I'm sure that fate has put other things in your path that you could... Ooh, fate has pretty strongly called me to this. So is it fate, then, or is it... I mean, fate kind of seems like... Whatever. I pull up one sleeve and say, when fate gives you this, you do what fate tells you to. So it's not... That looks like it hurts. Mm, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it doesn't... I am a vessel of fate. I have been bound to fate by fate. And as one of the members of the Order, my goal is to be neutral. But no human is completely neutral. Therefore, we must do what we can to be bound. <coughs> I see. And then beyond that, it is up to fate to so, orchestrate the rest. And they just kind of like jump back up into the tree and they're dangling their feet and they're like, so. If you're balanced, how are you going to balance out going through his things? <laughs> <laughs> However necessary. Like giving him a cookie or something? <laughs> yes, Probably not. I don't yes, think he deserves a cookie. Oh, okay. Okay. He's like an ancient right. god, basically. Well, like giving him a cookie. Yes. yes Have a good night then. Oak and then you just see Oak phase into the tree. Ooh. God, I love Oak. And then they're just gone. You're the best. So good. And the tree line is as it was before, and you can see like the campfire and everything. But that's just, just like that's a cool trick as well. <laughs> Hoax just like peace. <laughs> the this is the session where Tenson decides to multi-class as a druid. Oh well, he's like you I'm know that gif of like Homer Simpson going into the yes. bush. That's what I'm picturing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's literally. Oh my um, god. If possible, on a different day, maybe mm -hmm. or maybe on the same day, I'm gonna sit next to Remember. And just kind of tuck up my knees. I. You. You killed people from your own country, haven't you? Yes. Does it get easier? I don't think taking life ever gets easier, no matter who they are or where they are from. It's easier when they're running at you and screaming and brandishing a weapon and trying to take your life, but at the end, you are the one who decides whether or not they get a chance to try again and redeem themselves. It felt like it was getting easier. To kill your countrymen? To kill in general. Before this group I had not specifically killed in such a way. You know, and in classes and with potions and poisons and that's it's all clinical and sterile. But since being away 
I had to watch that happen. And I have never killed my own countrymen. So, Ulox was very difficult. And he deserved it, and he should have died a long time ago. I'm sorry. Murderers, rapists, criminals. They were guinea pigs. What is the difference between a person who has committed the crime and is accused and a person who has committed the crime but not been accused? Tardotith is a country of hypocrites. <laughs> Frequently, for students, we were practicing on foreigners. Because why would we raise students who are capable of believing that Tardothian people are criminals? At the end of the day. What makes any of our lives more valuable than the lives that we take? There's no difference between you or me or any of us. They're all worth the same. They all deserve the same. We come into this world with the same lots, even if it doesn't feel like it, even if your family has more money or less money, if you are rich, if you are poor, abandoned, or well-loved. Hey, can we hear this? Um, I think that would be up to when you approached, remember. It would be a quiet conversation. Would it be like when you guys are on watch together one night then? Yeah, it's probably okay. something like that. But Sorry for that. It's okay. They all weigh the same. We just pretend that we don't so it's easier to do the things that we do. I would like to believe that one day. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but one day I will go back to my country. And I will kill. Because I have to. Do you want to? I think... I'm caught between... Drive and necessity. I feel driven to in one regard and on the other, maybe it won't fix anything. But it could make me feel better for a couple months or years or however long. And this person certainly does not deserve to live. And deserving is an entirely another conversation. I think, Safine, I don't know where you've been, and I don't know who would hold a place in your heart with that much ire and focus. I would not want to be them. You survived a while now, outside of your home. You don't have to go back. No. I don't have to. Unfortunately, I can't say I even want to go back to see my own father, but there is someone else I'd like to see. And I don't think he will ever leave Tardotis. Ask him to meet you at the border. 
And that sounds far too romantic. <laughs> it's an affliction of my neck and hold. It's fair. Good night, remember. Good night, Sophie. She walks away. Nice. Love the flavored text. Yeah. <laughs> I ship them so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sefender? Or Ramin? It's just a like, messed up bumper. <laughs> Fender. Um, Bad times. Sefender. Since the pack rifling happened early on, mm -hmm. before we get there, can I have a moment of confrontation? Not confrontation, <laughs> of... Uh, Christ-like confrontation. A conversation. We'll say, we'll say there is a moment, there is a day you guys had a particularly rough time hunting. Um, even with Oak kind of clearing the way. Sabine, you still kind of exhausted yourself taking care of Remember, who got hit pretty hard with a boar tusk. Um, and so... Even Angrod is like, yeah, no, Asleep. I need. Yep. Yeah, she's out. Like Ow. she's she had a <laughs> she had a rough time of it too, and she's and it comes like down to Claudius and Thames and you two being on watch at the same time. Are you good to do this? You're not in too much pain. No, I can All right, do cool. it. <clears throat> hey there, friend. Uh, The rude one said you were an orphan. Can I hear this conversation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's no, okay. I'm. No one no, else can guys, hear this. No, you okay. guys are. That's you fair. guys are out. I said that that's in fair. confidence. <laughs> like y'all, y'all are out. Like remember, you you got hit pretty hard. Probably <laughs> protecting anger on even. Like it's to the point where you were both like, yeah, no. Fuck it, I'm, I'm down for the couples in. He's will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck a set. <laughs> that was excellent. <laughs> Who is the mean one? The pointy eared racist. Rude one. You know, Sophie. I have pointy ears. <laughs> yeah, but so do I. They're just red. Yours are just small. Yeah, Sophie. Ah, uh, I know what it's like to be alone and not trust anyone. So I don't hold that against you. I haven't told any of you much of anything about myself. I think you misunderstand my intentions. Intentions? I'm not alone. I actually am with people, and I'm looking out for them. It's you that I do not know. He loves us. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like touched slash jealous right Aww. now. Um, <clears throat> I understand. Good intentions, not... nonetheless. That's no way to make any friends. And maybe we don't have to be friends, but we can certainly not be enemies. You can talk, you know. There's better ways to get to know someone than rifling through their items and getting a gun shoved into your chest. And I'm okay with a little bit of pranks or horseplay or what have you, but... <laughs> my back it hurt. <laughs> Aww. Sorry. Yeah. Do you want to sit in this chair maybe, David? No, it's a nice back. I'm capable. Just don't do that again. I won't. I know those are not preferred methods, but people are not honest, usually. And when you're skilled in getting information on people, that's what you do. The only information you'll find about me is through me. My pack is just things. Things that seem to mean a lot to you. Not in the pack. Anything that I've, like, messed with has been, like, either on my coat or strapped next to me. Well, regardless, you are with us now, and 
I don't have a problem getting along with people. So as long as you don't do any harm to my mates, then we won't have a problem. That's not my issue. I need you to trust me. We can't be in a fight and you not trust me. This doesn't seem like the safest group of people to be with. I think you put too much weight on trust. I trust you're handy with your weapon, but beyond that, I do not trust you because I don't rely on you. I can trust my friends because oh, that's just face. <laughs> lack of inconsistency. I trust my mates because they've proven I can trust them. I've been with you a couple days and that is that guarantees or that that buys no trust. You said so. friends, no takes his back. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, yeah, it's that still doesn't go on, go on through my things. All I'm saying is get to know me through me, not through my fucking bag. That's fine, as long as you're honest. I'm gonna tell them you called them your mates. <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> I said that in front of them. <laughs> you are usually undercover, so we don't know if you're like telling the truth or whatever. <laughs> it's good to have friends. That's why I try to make sure they're okay. I'm no threat, friend. Mm. <laughs> fate fate we'll will see. reveal whether that's true or not. You put a lot of stock into fate. All of you put a lot of stock into the gods. Why? Because the gods have put their trust in us. And trust... It's no light matter. Oof. Character material. Love that sentence. <laughs> Why you? What did you four do? Five? I don't know about the other small one. What did you four do? Our that best. I cannot answer except that we were at least willing. But beyond that, only the gods know. Different. I mean, we did go over in the backstory why that is a thing. So. <laughs> it's canon. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you guys... That's it, yeah. Yeah, so you guys go ahead and you... Successful watch. Hey, have a, just rested a lot. Yep. You have a... She rested a lot. <laughs> successful <laughs> watch. Anger on is getting just more and more upset about the fact that they're getting closer and closer to Watervale. <laughs> closer and closer to fashion she knows nothing about. Right. Mm -hmm. Alright, does anyone else have any other flavor text between characters? Yes. I mean, I. I want to talk to Claudius. I was going to say, I want to try and get to know the group a little more, but if it's right. late, I don't want to keep it. Oh, no. Them. Okay, great. Hell no, great. this is the dating sim portion of the <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> you have to talk to everybody. It's half, all the it different has, routes. half battle sim, half dating sim. I, I mean, that is. Oh my gosh, game. that's a, that needs to go on the Reddit. Yeah, correct. Okay. <clears throat> what are, what are, where does this scenario find us? Um, this thing you can find on the third day of your trip, remember, and Claudius, um, you decide to go scouting a little bit more, um, especially because you saw Claudius fucking fly, so you want to see what that's kind of all about. Um, so the two of you are traveling alongside the rest of the group. You can hear them with the horses. Oh, this is good. But They're you gone. guys, yeah, so you, so you can hear them with the horses, like, traveling through, and Oak is kind of like, you can hear the familiar, it's growing more and more familiar, this creak of the trees moving out of the way as Oak leads you through the forest towards Watervale, and so you guys are off on your own. Time of day? Probably, probably about mid-morning. Okay. Date. Not ritual time. April 17th. <laughs> it's not too hot and it's not too cold and all you need is it's a, a light, light jacket. jacket. It's April 25th. I just... Oh. just <laughs> She's like, I know that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Wait, test my Miss It's gonna happen in like 14 minutes. What? It's gonna be May. Oh! I love today okay. for that very reason. <laughs> 
So yeah, we're just walking, I guess, mm -hmm. through the woods, going on a bear hunt. Get my picture bigger. Oh my god. Did you just have the same like? Yeah. That's a that. raven like. I moment. used to sing that for Wiggle Workshop for the toddlers. <laughs> That's a good time. It was a great time. I had a tutu and a Superman cape, and it was like my favorite job I've ever had. It was awesome. I love all of them. Yeah, it was so good. Did you guys ever do the one where you were sitting on a fence post chewing some bubble gum? That's very cool. <laughs> no, I know that one. You do? Okay. It's probably a Florida thing. So. <laughs> so I've known a lot of tieflings. I empty the chamber and start nervously cleaning my weapon <laughs> as soon as someone talks to me. <laughs> and, uh, they didn't have wings. So... The fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> so... Cool mutation... I've met a lot of Goliath? Half Goliath? We really don't know. I have and met a lot of Goliaths. As far as remember knows, she's Goliath. Yeah. They, they all had two boobs. So. That's fair. Although I had to take something away and you had to add something on, so yours is a little bit more difficult. I always had them. Wait, small pause. How did you lose a boob again? It's not clear. <laughs> Even, <laughs> <though>. <laughs> Even she doesn't and know. I think we said that it was an accident at the time, and then remember, they were like, played yeah, it no, off. It's fine. We're gonna like, it's fine. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. And she was like, No. Yeah, it was like a and, battle wound thing, and her. Okay, so like, this is not like character backstory. This is like you guys' backstory. Remember, his mom is very free to call out. She's just like very hardcore, 110 percent, constantly. Like there is no let up. So that was her mom. And her mom was like one of the most renowned warriors that they've ever had. So then Remember comes trotting along. Remember who was born on a battlefield during a battle. Beautiful. Comes trotting along and is like, okay, I guess I have to live up to this now. So she wanted to be as hardcore as her mom was while like... So she let her boob fall off? Literally. Yeah. She like got stabbed or something and was like, I don't fucking take it off. I don't care. Whatever. So and she then later she was like, question. Nipple? No nipple. No, no nipple. No like nipple. a mastectomy. Oh, just... Mastectomy. Gotcha. Like, okay. Asked. You know, it's just... I need the whole yeah. So yeah. so when so when remember has Aunt Tit out, she'll usually Aunt be tit. topless, but she's just only got one. Only one tit. Okay. Uh, I'm so excited to get to Brilliant. <laughs> Gets piercing just... on blank side. Yeah. What to do, man? <laughs> what to do? <laughs> I feel like I'm the, the number one fan on, like, the YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, new episode. Aaron, you were there. Oh, yeah. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> You're like, release uh, night, release night, release <laughs> They've always, I've always had them. Haven't always been able to fly, but they've always been there. And you were born in Garam? Yes. Weird. Useful. Hmm, recently. Why haven't you left? In soldier's life. You can get plenty of that work in other places. Fuck, head a couple of miles up to the road and go to a and they'll pay you for it. I didn't get out much. If there was a charisma check, it'd be bad right now. <laughs> Very bad. He's kind of struggling through his words. I, I don't I don't do what the others do. I'm not. You don't have to don't tell me steal the truth. Bags. You don't. Well, I don't steal bags for one thing, but also you don't have to lie or tell the truth. I don't really give a fuck. The point is, there's just been a lot and a lot of people being in places that are not good for them, and I don't understand it. I've never been in a place that's good for me. Have you left Kiran? No. There might be places out there. You should look into it. Uh, okay. I just... Uh, yeah. Okay. So you were a soldier. <laughs> Commander. Oh, sounds 
fun. I lost it to two of them. <laughs> They're both like, fuck. <laughs> this is like wall talking to wall. Yep. Like, <laughs> equally you will nothing. You will not hear anything from me. <laughs> well, me I'm rapidly We're trying to talking. build a wall to stop the escaping flood. Riveting, More like, riveting conversation. We will be friends, so help me God. What, uh, Get what rank? Okay? Oh, yeah. fuck. Epsom salt bath? Uh, <laughs> level one. <laughs> you were, uh, initiate? Yes. Yep, that's what they called me, an initiate. How Claudius. long were you an initiate? Only until I... It was long enough for me to get promoted. To? <laughs> level two. <laughs> Le yeah, he's just like <laughs> level two. <laughs> <laughs> level two clearance initiated. <laughs> All right. Well, this conversation is pointless. Is there a question you want to ask me? I'm not going to ask you anything else. Why? Why not? It, it's it's good to have someone to talk to. <laughs> well, normally when people have conversations, they you know say things. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... It's a one-sided telephone call! I haven't had a conversation in a while. You're not doing too bad. Thanks. Um, how, how did you end up here? <laughs> just like, fucking disassociates immediately. <laughs> the flashbacks, no the flashback sequence is just like her body. face translucent in the corner, and her life events just... Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? If we can turn back to <laughs> <laughs> the good old days. Not so oh good old days. Uh, Alright, well, you got me there. Same way we all did. I think we fucked something up and we had to leave. When a mommy and daddy love each other very much, <laughs> they stay virgins because Christ What do they is sound king. like? <laughs> what do what sound like? The gods. Hmm. Well... I can only speak for mine, really. I mean, I've seen Safines, but they're crows, and <laughs> I don't really fate buttons. I guess I don't know. Whatever. Buttons. <laughs> he picks buttons up all the time. <laughs> he doesn't. Ah, uh, <laughs> kind. She was kind. Mine is different, though. The other ones are power and glory and death and birth and that kind of stuff, and Tsune is goodness and beauty and the things that you fight for. Yeah. You don't have guns. I don't think anyone, any god has me. I don't feel like that. Sometimes I... I don't know why one would allow me to happen. Or all of them. So that's why I just kind of don't... Try not to believe there's any. Or just ignore the fact and pretend there aren't. Because... Yeah, why would they let that happen? Yeah, you need to get out of Giron. You're coming with us. But yeah, that's kind of a given. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember, she's just like, cool, so I'm adopting this one. <laughs> that makes her us. count like five. It's my shh, be cool. <laughs> as long as Temzin doesn't steal more of my shit. Uh, depends on how you define stealing. He didn't take anything. Yeah, I mean, is it stealing if you need it? Uh, he finds shit before we do, and then he hides it. He thinks we don't notice. We definitely fucking notice. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you about something? Mm, yes. I don't know... why it's me. Like, 
Surely there was someone else from Berlin who fucked up, who was in the right place at the right time. We all got chosen, and I don't understand why it was me. There are plenty of people from my homeland who were cast out, who were branded, who were traitors. It just doesn't make any sense. You might have gotten chosen, I just got lucky, I guess. The only time I've ever gotten lucky is when you all found me. You fell in with the wrong crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's happened to a couple people so far. They show up while we're doing something stupid and then they get stuck with us. Let's just say I... You can't fall into the wrong crowd if you were ever never in the right crowd. You fall into a wronger crowd. <laughs> you don't care if I lie. Well, it used to bother me when I first left, but people lie because they are ashamed or they are afraid. And Or both. Or both. And if you are ashamed and afraid, then maybe someday you won't be. I can't make you tell the truth. I just have to wait for it. I don't think that day exists. Yeah, you gotta get out of Giron. <laughs> it's not Giron. Mm, it's Giron, trust me. I need to get out of me. You're fine. Shit, we'll take you down to Berlin. They'll fucking love you. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. We'll get you out of here. It'll be okay. It's really difficult to be yourself and actually accept the things that you're capable of and your own significance when you are living in an environment that is constantly reminding you how you are wrong. So if we get you out of it's the environment. It's difficult oh. to be yourself if you've never known a self. Boom. Fucking <laughs> truth bombing it over here. In and out of character. I feel like Erin is getting us ready for Just like... Just hyping uh, us up. Like, well, she's getting us ready for the Twitch chat where people are speech, like, what the fuck? Speech, 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 speech. Like uh, the motivational speaker. <laughs> Listen, let me, let me put it this this way. Before I left Berlin. There was right, there was wrong, there was life, there was death, there was good, and there was evil. I have left Berlin. There is none of that anywhere. No. Everything exists in grays and neutrals and complexities and things that don't make any sense, and that's alright. There's nothing we can do about it. But you can change where you are and who you are with. And there are plenty of places around here, plenty of places that I've been to, where people wouldn't look twice at you. More often than not, people will be excited to see you. I have no problem with how people look at me. I have a problem how I look at me, with a mirror, with sleep, with everything, memories. The issue is not those around me. It's this book. And what it holds. Your book? Ah, it's just everything that's ever happened to me. Your poems that you write? Yeah. Why do you write the poems? There's loads of beauties in the world, and I try and create a little bit of it through my pain. Helps. Sometimes. Usually not, but once or twice, maybe. So, how many people do you think you've hurt in your life? <laughs> physically, what? not just emotionally. Physically. Oh, both of them. God. Thousand. Ten thousand. Oh fuck! Of course. Twenty thousand. Fifty thousand. Eh, that might be pushing it. I can guarantee you 
I've hurt more. And that doesn't go away. Did I send you the haunted one feature? I, I texted uh, it to I'm you. I'm pretty sure. It, she can see it. Whatever. Yeah. Let me read it off real quick. Because I haven't, basically, we haven't really gone over it. Basically. <clears throat> you see yeah. that his life was defined by some darkness or tragedy. Mm -hmm. And that he's faced an unimaginable horror. Yeah. That it's, it's like almost a miracle he's. It's like, it's almost like it's a it's not there constantly. Like, you know how I, I described the colors? There's, like, something. And it's, like, real. And then it's gone. Yeah. And he didn't, like, and do it's, it. It's just... And it's almost like... It's almost like one of the um, warriors of relief, like, who has come back from their first time. Mm -hmm. It's similar to that, but it's, like, in his eyes. And then it's gone the next moment. Mm, like the cinematic Marvel... Zoom in on Tony Stark when he talks about his family. Just that is why I say it's it's not the place, it's the person. So. Do you believe you can be redeemed? That's all I have. I don't know. This thing doesn't help. Puts it back. Just makes it worse, but then I'll be killed. The only thing I have is the hope that one day I might accept or forget or be able to change to be who I was born to be to not that uh, never mind stop short what do you think the redemption will come from I thought it was the gods for the longest time, but I don't think they exist, or they don't... Why would they allow me to exist again, like I've said? I don't know, but it has to be there. There's one thing I've always searched for, that maybe finding it will give me some redemption, but I do not know. I don't think I'll ever find it. It's... I haste... I, it's a... Piece of hay in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. What is it that you're looking for? <laughs> Finger guns. <laughs> lies. He uh, said lies as if to tell a lie. To <laughs> Charisma's like, negative too. He's like, on, he's like, on here. And I'm trying to portray that. I would yeah, that's what I... That's alright. Don't talk about those things. I won't take it personal. If it makes you feel any better. You can be redeemed. Laughs. You are worthy of that redemption. I'm sorry, does he say laughs? Yep. <laughs> And he's he kinda, really good at social interaction. He kind of so scoffs. Good. He's like, "What's your charisma?" Negative two. Oh, good. Negative That's a sweet two. eight right there. Prime. Trying to play Prime. it out. No, it's a six. You remember the god I was telling you about? She told me. She said, "You can have a ten. I was like, "Nope." <laughs> We're gonna take the fucking six and run. Yes. You're gonna be all right. But what is a god gonna do about that? She won't. I will. <laughs> you are God. We'll find out. Jeez. Shirts, shirts. <laughs> I. You don't have to trust the gods. You don't really have to trust us either, but. If you're waiting for someone else to redeem you, you're gonna be waiting until you're dead. It's not someone else I need to. Find that thing, peep, that myself. Alright, and when you're ready to talk about it and have help or an ear or whatever, we might be here. We might fucking die. I don't know. I met a necromancer one time, and like that was cutting it pretty fucking close. So yeah, that might be kind of nice actually you know. right now. <clears throat> 
Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. <sighs> Thanks. You were the one who ran into the water that was poison. There's a difference between understanding that things are worth dying for and chasing that death. Safine chokes somewhere far in the distance. <laughs> he just kind of like nods and he's like, Thanks for the conversation. Doesn't happen often. You'll get better at it. Don't tell the others. I won't. He actually trusts her. Aww. You can kind of like see it. His eyes kind of like turn kind of like greenish bluish and they're not like so dark and. The color of friendship. The <laughs> <laughs> tale of Rachel trust. And so, and so you guys go ahead and you finally like rejoin up with the group. And uh, at, by this point, like, his, this kind of, like, you have now actually. I kind of trip Temzin next time I see him. <laughs> I just kind of give him a wink when he's on the ground. So you ha- No, he has seen him because whenever he smells weird, his. No, is I know. Like, he's seen, he's seen he's him seen like his. that. He's seen that. Oh, he's not seen my boy. Yeah. So <laughs> you go ahead and you rejoin with the party who are, like, in this path of trees that Oak has made for them, and you see a small, what looks to be size like a halfling child, standing with the group. Like, Rinna? And they look up and they go, There's a charm. Who's that? Mama! Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. okay. No name, Mama, You're no right. name! We're gonna call him. What do you wanna call him? Not mamas, and no, no. forms of mamas. Where's mama? No, no. Okay. He's a random. <laughs> and, he just and he's looks, just kind of like. He looks, and this little child. I like how he hasn't like, mentioned where's Rinna. His first concern is, what is that? Who is that? <laughs> and, and so you see a child who is the size of a halfling child. Small. Um, uh, but they have remembers the skin coloring that like beautiful myriad of just the tans and dark blacks and just all of the different colors that make up remember skin but then they have um this mop of pastel pink hair and elven ears and they're just is it like a combination of all four of them? It's a combination of all of them, yeah. I'm gonna like swoop him up and put him on my hip. And Who is that? And he's just like. The children. And then he goes. <laughs> and then you see him His name's Teef. Okay. <laughs> and then he just like lays his head on your shoulder and he's like. Hey, Teef. Yep, that's the one. What do you think about that? Name? I just said it. It's hissed. Hiss. 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 Yes. Where did he... It, he... It, he... And then he, like, reaches back and grabs her hood and, I just wanted to be known that, remember, Yikula is still in my bag of holding. And she has not found... (laughs) And she's not taken it back. But regardless... Where did he come from? And he's, like, now shaking... Sabine's hood, and he's like, Mama, is Teeth blind? <laughs> he's not very smart. He's smart. Aw, you're such a better child than I've raised. <laughs> and I, like, boop him on the nose, I'm like, you are a good son. No, no, stop that. <laughs> he, we found him. And then he just, like, kind of flops back. Why'd you turn into a boy today? I don't wanna. Alright. Dragon's bad. Okay, only in Giron. We're in Giron! Right, I just want you to know that you are not bad. Okay. Great. Dragon. You know that little thing that popped out of my hood? You go like that to you? That's him. And then he goes. (laughs) (laughs) Why does he look like... We are a blended family. (laughs) Mixed race family. (laughs) 
We are a blended family, and that is what he decided that he wanted to look like, so I'm not going to stop him. And Oak is just, like, crouching so that they're at eye level with his. They're like, yeah, it's always strange to see a dragon use wild shape. Dragon? What do I do? (laughs) You're basically, you're kind of like, I don't know why you're so confused. Is he like- <laughs> I've literally like never seen magic in my life until like three days ago. Sabine has no contact. She's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You got a freaking wing. You got wings and a tail. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Is a, a dragonborn said to me that he was going to get much larger. Well, sure, dragons do, but uh, not for a while. He'll be fine for a while-ish, hey. I think. I don't know how old he is. But I, I'm growing concerned about what to do with him because as much as I'd like to keep him with us and nurture him, we're not dragons to parent more dragons. And so don't parent like a dragon. Well, I haven't been. <laughs> and honestly, dragons don't really parent them. He has four moms. And so it's fine. And he's one of them's like, a man. He's going to do great. It's going to be fine. I just feel like he's in a formative time, and I keep having to tell him that dragons are bad in Garan. <laughs> you know? We need to build the self-confidence of our child. Right. I'm trying Relatable. to build that up. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, we're going to have another one of these walking around. <laughs> she just, like, gestures to Claudius. You're going to just do just fine. Doll. You're going to do just fine. <laughs> Speaking of Garan, we are roughly a days from Watersail. So... You probably want to just make sure that whatever you need to hide is hidden, and whatever, you know... We've been heading through the force, but we're going to be cutting back out onto the main path. And his is, like, hanging over your arm now, just kind of Oh, uh, like backwards, yeah, like on like my head? Stretching do you want to get? Do you want to get down? Yeah! How do you laugh? Like this! <laughs> and then they, like, go completely low. Re- remember, well, now I'm you... definitely not putting you down. And then they... He just starts oh, yeah. to, like, wiggle. Help. She's just gonna hold on. <laughs> you can ask with your words, and then you can get down. <laughs> and they go... You're so I need stuck. to fold up my yeah, wings, Yeah, is he then. asking for help with his wings? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you're so stubborn, and I just literally hold on to him. <laughs> he's, he's just entirely limp. Like, dead weight. Small child dead weight. You can put him in the bag. Don't put him in... I'll... Don't, don't I lift him by his scruff. No, you are not. I that. just kind of set I'm him like, on no, my I'm shoulder. No, I'm gonna grab your oh. hand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with my boy, son? He's and I, I would remember go. dead in his and uh, in her eyes. He looks. He looks at me and goes, "Mama, Mama, watch!" And then all of a sudden, you're now holding a dragon, and then the dragon just like curls around your arm a bunch and starts just scurrying all over you. I freaked the fuck out. (laughs) You can feel, like, little, like, nail claws as he's, like, climbing all over you. And you just hear, ha ha. As he's just going, like, he ducks down into your jacket, like, he ducks down. the wings. Like, he's, you feel him against your wings, like, he's just, he's just going nuts. I see this as Kepler. Yes. Yes. I'm just, like, just... I basically, I, I basically wrote, <laughs> I basically wrote Kepler before getting Kepler, and yes, then I yes. found him in the parking lot. Yes, so. it was meant to be at that point. Mm-hmm. Yes, she's more devious than he is. Though. And so, how how badly do you freak out? It freaks the hell out. Okay. It how do you freak out? reminds him <laughs> of way earlier mm-hmm. when. <laughs> when uh, stuff was done to him by the other people that he was with. Yeah. And, and so, so he actually kind of starts <laughs> to freak out. Yeah. So when his realizes that you aren't just like playing like the others normally do when he like goes Because down. like something's happening to him that he has no control over and it's like mm-hmm. a lot and he just... Yeah. And just, like, when, weird. His, when his realizes this, you see like a puff of like sparkles almost Aww. out of your sleeve, 
as he bolts out of your sleeve and then scurries up into the hood on Sabine's head. And he's just like... <sighs> and then he just like plops his head out and he's like, It's okay. He's like, Are sorry, okay? Teeth. Are and then he goes right? back in. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Are you experiencing previous traumas currently? <laughs> Everyone's like, we're not, we know. Always we're currently. Oh, well. Um, oh. I'm gonna, like, help curl, um, freaking piss up into a ball, and I'm gonna, like, throw him around, and then I'll be like, remember, catch our son! <laughs> I'm gonna toss him around. <laughs> She's gonna grab him and then put him in the sling so he fills out the space where her other boob should be. <laughs> <laughs> Does he wild shape into a boob? <laughs> a week. Alright, then, um, and try not to mention meeting me to anyone uh, in this area, especially in Watervale. The word of magical folk is a bit rumor. Mm. And I would not want them to think burning down the forest is a good idea for them to find me. Yes, that, um, that makes sense. But it is okay with the king, of course. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, well, I mean, we've been in a couple of sticky situations with supposed rulers, so I think we should be able to figure this out and handle it. All right. And um, good luck to all of you. Thank you. To you as well. And they 
prowl and they step back into the tree line and disappear from sight. <laughs> and you can you can see now that even from this distance, from twenty miles away, like you can see almost a haze on the horizon. Smog. That you've never really seen with any place that you've ever been or any hmm. place that you're from. Like there's even me. You are familiar with this. Like you you know Giron. And things with gods, I wish the mount I miss the mountain air. And you can see the haze on the horizon and you can hear the distant clacks of them against the stones. Ooh. 